We all know there are tons of things to do in London, but what you might not know is there are some very fun, secret things that you can do in Covent Garden. Stay tuned while I take you around Covent Garden and show you some hidden things that you'll really enjoy. And make sure you watch until the end when I share with you the place in Covent Garden that I think has the biggest pizza in London, but you might not know how to get there. Our first stop is at Seven Dials, and something a lot of people don't know about that area is it's actually not the intersection of seven different streets and roads. There's only six. In the spirit of secrets, we're gonna talk about the world's most famous spy, and that's James Bond. If you're gonna visit Somerset House, you might wanna know that Somerset's house interior courtyard was used to pass as St. Petersburg in the James Bond movie, Golden Eye. Also, the frontage of Somerset House by the Strand was featured in Tomorrow Never Dies. One of my favorite Fuller pubs is the Lamb and Flag. Now, during the 19th century, it had a reputation for having pretty intense bare knuckle fist fights, which earned it the nickname Bucket of Blood. If you'd like to learn more about British beer, specifically how it's brewed, keep an eye out for the tour that Mr. Sonny and I are gonna do of Fuller's Brewery. I'll post the link in the description below of the video as soon as we finish the tour. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I have tons of videos on Harry Potter things that you can do in London, but something I haven't mentioned that you can do in Covent Garden that a lot of people don't know is visit the outside of Australia House. The inside of Australia House was used to shoot the scenes for Gringotts Bank. It's not hard to find tons of street performers in Covent Garden, but a little secret you might not know is they have to go through an intensive audition process that's only offered a few times during the year. If you have a lot of extra time, you might want to walk up and down Floral Street. It is said that artist Tim Fishlock made casts of his ears and put them two places on the walls of Floral Street. At first glance, you might think Ellis Brigham Mountain Sports is just your typical sports store in any big city. But if you walk inside and go into the basement, you'll find a super cool secret. There you'll find Vertical Chill, which is a small ice wall that you can actually climb. Pin, like, and share this video if you found it valuable. Subscribe to the Sunny News so you don't miss any upcoming travel tips about London and other fun things that you can do while you're here. Finally, our secret location where you can find what I think is London's biggest pizza. Neil's Yard is literally my favorite little space in London. If you're not looking for the signs, you'll walk right past it. But if you do see the signs and head down the corridor, you will feel like Dorothy walking into the Wizard of Oz. Neil's Yard is the best location for Instagram in London. Now, if you head inside, what you might not know is Home Slice has what I think is the biggest pizza in London. Once you're in Neil's Yard, you can't miss it. Mr. Sunny and I had the opportunity recently to enjoy one of these pizzas, and not only did we find it one of the biggest in London, we also felt it was one of the best. I would love it in the comments if you could leave your ideas about things to do in London that other people might not know about. And as always, thank you for watching.